Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Today I am going to be coming at you with a book review. Today's book is Lori Copeland's The Plainsman. And this is the fourth book in um, this series, and I believe it's the last book in this series as well, which I will review one, two, and three at some point. I've already read those ones, and I just, um, I can't quite remember how they went, so I need to reread them, but I just finished reading this one. And this book is about fighting for what you believe in, but doing it in a classy way. And so I really like this because I feel like it um, pertains to like today and what's going on in the world around us. Um, but it's about a man named Trey McAllister. He is coming home from the Civil War that just ended. He has four sisters. Um, his parents died when he was young. And so his four sisters have kind of taken care of him his whole life. And so he feels like he's like done with women because he's tired of being having his mother hens over him all the time. And so now he's like, okay, I'm coming back from the war. I'm a man. They can't be treating me like a little kid anymore. Um, kind of him just trying to keep his identity as he's on his way home. Um, and he loves his horse. His horse has seen him through the war and everything else. So he really is just like, all I need is to get back, help out the farm, me and my horse, I'll live a bachelor life for a while. So he's like kind of against marriage right now, especially in his hometown. And he's like, there's two girls there and none of them, neither one of them are my speed. And so on his way home, he goes through a town called Sassy Gap. And that's when things start to pick up. He, as he's riding in, he realizes that one of their buildings is on fire. So he jumps in to help him out, put out the fire. Um, as he's fighting the fire, he's like, where are the men in this town? It was all women. Um, fighting this fire and then come to find out it's because one of the women her name is Myra she is one of like the big wigs her father is one of the big wigs um, in the town next to hers and he owns everything around that town except for Sassy Gap and so he is um, He's kind of the antagonist in the story. He is trying to look like a doting father and wanting his daughter to come back home because her husband died in the war and so he wants her to come back home. And so he's kind of threatened all the men in the town next to them that if he, they mess with the women, then they have to mess with them. They'll be dealing with him. And um, that's kind of the issue. They don't want, they don't want to get tangled up with like the boss man, you know what I'm saying? Like the guy that kind of runs the town even though he's not the mayor or anything, he just has all the money. So something happens on his way back to Kansas after he's left Sassy Gap and it is, he can't stop thinking about Myra. And she is this beautiful French, French roots, um, southern girl that he just can't stop thinking about which he's annoyed with because he doesn't want to be getting caught up in love and in women and he just wanted time for himself but he just feels like he needs to go back and help them so the question is I'm not going to tell you guys the whole book the question is it ends up and it ends up coming out that Myra is um, at war with her father he's not he's not doing it to be a loving father he's actually abusive and controlling and um, and she just doesn't want to go back to that. So the question is, will she fall in love with Trey? And will they love each other? And will everything work out? Or will vengeance win? And she turns down love for the chance to get back at her father. Um, you guys will have to read and find out. It's a super good book. I suggest you guys to check it out at your local library. It's one of those that get your heart racing and if you love romances that is and that's what this is this is a Christian romance I believe is what this one is and again it's by Lori Copeland um, she is one of my favorite authors she also does a Brides of the West series that I will be reviewing on my channel as well thank you guys so so much for watching as always you can follow me on all of my social media channels I have Facebook Instagram and Twitter I'll leave them linked down below and don't forget to subscribe, click that bell for notifications so you don't miss out on anything. And be polished, wear polished, and a little superstition never hurt. We'll catch you guys later. Bye!